Hey, so I thought I'd do something weird and make a video of me explaining some of the stuff that I do with me talking, which is weird, maybe not for you, but it's weird for me. Uh, and here is the thing. So I made a, a tape speed synthesizer. So uh, basically this stuff controls this thing, which makes the sound. Um, so I'll go through it piece by piece. This is a tape player that I have modified so that it has two power supplies the normal power supply that comes in, which powers the amplifier, which means you can hear the tape, and the other power supply, which when I switch down to CV, uh, it's powering the motor speed. And so this little guy here, the field kit, has a thing that calls a DC interface, which basically has a power output like that, which goes into here, and you can change the output of the power, which changes the speed of the motor on the cassette, which changes the frequency, um, yeah, frequency of the note on the cassette. So if I just put it normal, so it's just going through the normal power supply. It's just the same note. It's a constant power supply, one note, not changing much apart from the wobbly tape goodness. If I push it to CV, it means that the motor is now being controlled by uh, the power output from this little guy. So you can hear as the different buttons are pressed, it changes the speed of the tape. So really fast, it goes higher, slower, it goes lower. So what's going on? Here in the Zoya, I have programmed a keyboard to output different CV values, internal CV here. That then sends that out via MIDI to the Arturia key step. And in here, that converts the MIDI to CV, which goes in here. So really what's happening is I'm using this thing to send a signal to this thing, which sends a signal to this thing, which sends electricity to this thing, which changes the speed of this thing, and you can play tunes on it. So you can tune these, right? So you make it higher or lower. And that's that. <laughs> 